Oh, what is up, you guys? My name is Buzz Version One, and welcome back yet again to Reaction Time Installment Forty. The month of December is here. We're getting ready for Christmas and the holiday season of all the wonderful gifts and give, gift giving and stuff like that, <coughs> and times off and breaks and this, that, and the other. Anyway, we're going to another animation because it was just rolled right on to the next thing that was in the playlist. This one is from back from Cartoon Universe. This is Fizzaroli is an imp in the nine circles of hell explained hell of a boss episode seven breakdown and analysis so i figured why the hell not <laughs> so without further ado here we go episode seven of hell of a boss just dropped and we have so much to discuss that you know we're not going to be able to fit it into this one video my name is Deep Cut, welcome back to Cartoon Universe, and today we are going to be breaking down and analyzing all the cool little details hidden in today's episode of Hell of a Boss, particularly what we learned about Fizzarali, and how he may even be Blitz's brother. The episode's primary focus is on the gang all going to the Lust Ring to celebrate the one year anniversary of Moxie's and Millie's marriage. <laughs> it was meant to be a night for just the two of them, but Blitz invites himself and manages to get Stolas to come along as well. The four of them end up at Big Ozzy's, a nightclub in the Lust Ring. Until yep. now, we knew that natural-born citizens of Hell can travel from one ring to another, but we weren't really sure how. In the trailer, we heard a line talking about Elevator 666, and now we finally got to see it. Despite being called an elevator, it is actually much more like a train station, one that is very fancy at that. Instead of trains going outward, the elevator of course raises and lowers itself through the various rings, letting natural born citizens <laughs> get off wherever they want. It is here that we finally meet the real Fizzarali, the famous demon known throughout all of Hell. While most of the robo fizzes are love bots for customers like the ones in the Lust Ring, at least one was allowed to perform as a regular circus clown as we saw at Lululand in episode 2. Despite not being a robot and not having the robotic eyes that RoboFizz had, this Fizzarale still has a very robot style to him. He still stretches and bounces in that very rubbery robot way that RoboFizz did in episode 2, with all the same mechanical sound effects as he does this. I've been theorizing for a while now that Blitz didn't just know the RoboFizz from Lululand, but also knew the real Fizzaroli as well, something confirmed in this episode when Fizzaroli talks about Blitz's history, as well as when Blitz takes a look at his childhood photos at the end. At first glance, Fizzaroli seems to be a jester-based demon, but when we see photos of him and Blitz as children, it becomes apparent very fast that Fizzaroli is actually an imp. Even more strange, we can see that Fizzaroli has a similar heart-shaped mark on his head to the one on Blitz's. One that we see in other family photos also happens to be on his twin sister's head, as well as this other imp. Back in the pilot, before the story had been finalized, some posters can be seen around the office that were removed or changed in later episodes. In the pilot version of one poster, Blitz is posing with two female imps, with the title being The Imp Siblings, indicating that Blitz was in a circus act with two sisters. These were revealed to be named Tilla and Barbie Wire at the time. In future episodes, this poster was replaced with an identical one, but with two major changes. First, the long-haired sister, Tilla, was removed entirely. Second, Blitz's iconic white spot on his face is missing. White spots on imps always seem to be either birthmarks or caused by injuries, with the white spot being something of a scar. This would mean that he had a pretty drastic accident sometime after his circus life with his sister. Interestingly, another photo shows that Blitz has his white scar while working for Verasica. We know that he did not have it while working at Lululand, as we can just barely see on the corner of his face in flashbacks from episode 2. Therefore, we know for sure that in Blitz's timeline, he first worked at Lululand, then got a scar either shortly before or sometime during his relationship with Verasica. Many fans were worried that Tilla would be removed from the show entirely since she had been removed from the poster. In this recent episode, we see her with Blitz and Barbie Wire in one... Honestly, I thought that was his mother. I thought that was his mother. So wouldn't that make more sense? Because then her, but you know, the imp siblings... I mean, would that be his mother or his older sister? I'm not really sure on that. <laughs> it didn't really go into much about his mother. I knew he had a sister from the episode with Verasica because it talks about seeing his sister in rehab and stuff like that. So, I don't know. I thought it was his mother, but maybe it's his sister. I have no idea. Photo, all of them with that same heart-shaped mark on their head, but with Tilla looking much older. While it is possible she is still just their sister, albeit much older, she looks much more motherly to me here, and I think they may just said that. <laughs> have reimagined her to be Blitz's mom. 
All of them having this mark on their head seems to be some sort of family crest, which would mean that Fizzaroli is Blitz's brother. Because of how close in age they look and Blitz never mentioning having a brother, other fans in my Discord server suggested that this may be a mark for anyone working at the circus. After all, Blitz is performing in the circus with his family, so it would make sense for all of them to have this crest, but it wouldn't be limited to just their family. Speaking of Discord, if you guys want to talk more Hasman Hotel and Hell of a Boss, we have two Discord servers that you can join. We have the Cartoon Universe server for people who like all sorts of cartoons, and then we have my personal Hasman Hotel and Hell of a Boss server. I'll be linking both in the pinned comment down below. Go check it out. We're not entirely sure what happened to the circus or Blitz's family, but Barbie Wire seemed to go on to be famous before somewhat recently burning out and ending up in rehab, according to Verasica. Fizzaroli seemed to find success as a jester while Blitz did not, however the reason why Fizzaroli found success may not have anything to do with talent. While Barbie Wire did go on to find success as an imp, imps are generally seen as some of the lowest in Hell's hierarchy, above only the Hellhounds and even then just barely. When Blitz wore clown makeup, it was such that he still looked like an imp, but when Fizzaroli does, he just looks like a jester-based demon, and until recently, I hadn't seen anyone theorizing that the real Fizzaroli would turn out to be an imp, so it's a convincing disguise. It would seem to me that Fizzaroli's success came from hiding the fact that he was an imp. This is what allowed him to become not just famous, but become a sex symbol, as it's implied that sleeping with an imp is a low-class thing to do, even if cheating is permissible as a general rule in Hell's hierarchies. Vizzaroli managed to keep his act up to the point where he manages to make it into the life of Asmodeus, the Prince of Lust, and though their song indicates that being lovey-dovey is gross to them, and that they are purely carnal in their relationship, we see that Asmodeus really does seem to care for Vizzaroli, and that they can't help but be affectionate with each other. I'm not sure how Fizzaroli got his mechanical enhancements, or why his horns seem to bounce around under his jester hat, but hopefully we'll get some answers to that soon. It wasn't mm -hmm. just Fizzarali or Blitz's family that we got to see some interesting photos of thanks to the images in the background. The very first shot of the episode showed us a new angle of Imp City, which had previously come with a sign telling us the year Imp City was established in, which was 1981. <laughs> this new sign we see shares a different fun fact, that Imp City is in something called second the Second Circle, circle of Hell. This is likely a reference to the nine circles of hell explored in the real-life story Dante's Divine Comedy, which Katie Killjoy references offhandedly in the Hasbin Hotel pilot. Fans were confused when we later learned that there are seven rings to hell in Hell the Boss, as opposed to the nine circles of hell referenced by Katie Killjoy from Dante's Divine Comedy. The Seven Rings of Hell act more like the Nine Circles described in Divine Comedy, each being its own unique level of hell with its own themed sin all stacked on top of each other. The Nine Circles in Hasbin Hotel and Hell of a Boss, however, seem to reference nine regions in the Pride Ring specifically. The first circle seems to be the smallest, and I think refers to the area under the pentagram that floats above Pentagram City, and some of the region beyond that. The second circle of hell would be a circular region that is broader than that one, containing the first circle within it. Circle 3 would be a region beyond that, containing both circle 2 and 1 within it, and so well, on and so sense. forth. Finally, before I go, I want to talk about these crazy photos in Blitz's home the that seem to show some crazy horse demons. My first instinct was that this imp in the photo was Fizzaroli, and that Blitz loved the horses but hated seeing Fizzaroli's face, so he scribbled it out. However, when we walk into Blitz's apartment, we can see that there are lots of scribbles, almost all of them being to cover Blitz's face in photos where he is with other people. It would seem that Blitz has a hard time looking at himself in photos. I've had meltdowns over having to be in videos instead of my animated avatar, so I can relate. These horses in the picture seem to be regular horses just with decadent jewelry, as they don't look much different from Stryker's horse back in episode 5. Really? <laughs> They were likely horses that were part of some act at the circus that Blitz seemingly grew up in, but we won't know for sure until we get more episodes explaining it. That being said, we have a lot more content coming breaking down everything that happened in this episode, and this video is only the beginning, so hit that subscribe button or my mom really says dope. that we can't be friends anymore. See you <laughs> next time. <laughs> <laughs> that's good shit well that was gonna do it that is pretty interesting stuff because like like he said it's like maybe they were originally gonna make tilla his sister and then they changed it to his mom for the actual season because the pilot did have a certain imagery in it that stuff like that 
And really, what I think is, uh, I think that was actually Blitzo. He just scribbled himself out of the picture because of mental health and mental depressions and stuff like that. Because I know of some people who've done the similar things, how they just can't stand to see themselves, so they cut themselves out of all the pictures or they dark themselves out. It's a really bad thing, but it's a mental health deal that, you know, some people, if you're feeling that way where you can't look at your own face, please get some help. As long as you care for you, it doesn't matter what other people think. And that is the main take I want to get from that. But that is going to do it for this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, feel free to hit me up, hit me up to hit that thumbs up button and that subscription button and that notification bell to be informed every time I upload. Um, if you have guys, guys have anything else you want to see me uh, react to, feel free to put it in the comments, uh, comments down below. If I don't get to them this month, I will get to them in due time. So don't worry. Don't, don't spam it and don't rush it because YouTube's algorithms will put it in stuff and to a holding thing and I will probably some sometimes I won't see it because I get busy with other stuff and it might get deleted and your your video won't come up I do have some recommended user recommended stuff and I have some stuff that I've just seen uh, I got to go through the comments again to make sure I didn't miss any but I uh, will be getting to some more videos soon I just wanted to get a couple out today before I you know had to go do all the other stuff so that other being said I thank you guys so much for watching and as always I'll see you in the next one hey peace out. what's up